Uba Uba Hop Zigzag Hop, here comes my friend Jungle life we must defend Uba Uba, his strategy His call, his philosophy I got another bite. Hector, look, this is incredible. Come and see what we've got here. Oh. Marshu, come see, I got one. It's a wild Palombian tulip. Uh, 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 that's great, Aunt Anne. This is an extremely uh, rare Would you pass me the net, please? Whoa, oh, wait. Uh. Aunt Diane. I lost my fish and my pole, all because of a tulip. You know, Hector, dear, once upon a time, the whole world nearly fell into chaos, all because of one little tulip. Can you imagine that? A world crisis for a tulip. Tulip mania! This actually happened in Holland in the 17th century. Someone decided that tulips were worth more than anything else, more than money, gold, or even diamonds. With a tulip, you could buy anything. If you had seven, well, you were the king of the world. You mean to say you could trade a tulip like that for, I don't know, an MP3 player? <laughs> even more, you could buy a whole orchestra, even a boat or a castle. Money became worthless. Only tulips allowed you to buy whatever you wanted. People would kill to possess a tulip. All this madness lasted for quite a while. But how did it end? Quite simply. As a result of the circumstances and the projected calculations determined at the time, the tulip had acquired a speculative value based on indicators that overestimated its market value compared to its actual value. A year later, when everyone came to their senses and the tulip bubble finally burst, many owners were ruined by deflation because in the end, in short, a tulip, well, is nothing more than a tulip. Understand? Uh, uh-huh. Uh, 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 What's going on, Marsu? The piranhas aren't biting? There aren't any more piranhas? But how can that be? I caught a whole bunch of other kinds of fit. equipment will catch every single piranha in the river. <laughs> Mission accomplished. henchmen fishing hundreds and hundreds of them out of the water. Piranha? Did I hear someone say huh? piranha? Oh, Back alive! 
Don't you dare lay a hand on the marsus. <laughs> Marsupilamis? No one cares about marsupilamis. They're worthless. Listen, kid, the big thing today is piranhas. Didn't anyone tell you? <laughs> Figures you wouldn't know living out here in the boondocks. You got to get out more. Look. Yeah, that smells awful. This is quite a bargain I'm offering you. I'll make you an excellent offer just between friends before the price rises even more. Yeah. I take cash, checks, credit cards, even fur, though it's pretty worthless <laughs> nowadays. Okay, if that's your final word, I won't insist. But you don't know what you're missing. The piranha is the gold standard. It's the only thing worth anything nowadays. Get out of your pajamas and bring me some piranhas. Piranhas, piranhas, piranhas. Get out of your pajamas and bring me some piranhas. Mr. Topanga Dakota, what on earth is going on? Once again, the city men have got it all backwards. They have come from all four corners of the earth to fish for piranhas. Everyone wants a Colombian piranha. Even the fish god, deep fried fish sticks, and Vincent Gogo, the spirit of the river, are totally overwhelmed by the folly of the city men. Piranha madness has also struck the men of my village. They are selling all the piranhas they've caught. And now that there are practically no more piranhas to be found, they've started selling piranhas they haven't even caught yet. This reminds me of Aunt Diane's tulip story. Little Chicken is not listening properly. The city men don't want tulips, they want piranhas. This madness must be stopped. You're right. We must uh -huh. stop this piranha mania. <laughs> Little Chicken's words make my heart rejoice. But how? Uh, well, first, we have to figure out how all this craziness started. <laughs> I had a brilliant idea there. By fishing all the piranhas from the leaky soupy, devoid foods has made the Colombian piranha quite scarce. And whatever is hard to find and rare is very... Ouch! Very ouch? Of course not. What is very rare is very expensive. What's wrong, my little stroy? <laughs> Are you ill? Uh, no, 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 I'm fine, really. Ouch! Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's enough. Show me your hands. You're stealing from me? I don't believe it. They're for ouch, my barbecue. A three million dollar barbecue? You'd better stick to canned sardines. Blueprint, mm -hmm. go put these piranhas with the others in the armor-plated aquarium in the safe. And don't you lose a single scale off those fish. Tell me, Blueprint, what on earth are you wearing? It's just like your story about the tulips, Aunt Diane. Everyone's gone cuckoo over piranhas. At this rate, with a differential of 12, carry 3 and add 25 to compensate for daylight savings, there'll be no more piranhas in the leaky soupy in 3 weeks, 12 minutes, and 8 seconds! Of course, this is merely an approximate figure. But how can we prevent that from happening? Prevent what? Well, all of it. The piranha madness, the extinction of the species, the lack of anything to feed the marsus. Well, you know, speculation is not my forte. On the other hand, we could try to capture a couple of piranhas in order to save the species. Of course! We could put them in an aquarium where they'd be safe! Yes! And that way, hmm, they'd be able to reproduce. <laughs> Poor babies! Stroy, I've got an idea! Like what? We keep a couple of piranhas. Yeah, for the barbecue. Of course not, Nincompoop. If we have two piranhas, we'll be able to breed as many piranhas as we like. It's like having plates for printing dollar bills. Get it? But you can't print bills with piranhas. Oh! 
I'm trying to keep up, our Sue. So if you wouldn't mind, stop going so fast. Stop! What's wrong with you two? This is my fishing spot. Marsu, that's Mr. McFly, our friend, the gold miner. <sighs> what are you doing with... Ah, oh, don't tell me you two. Gold is over. Old school. Finito, kiddo. The future lies in... I know. Piranhas. Ah, news flies quickly. You know, kid, I sold a piranha for more than my biggest gold nugget. You better believe, old McFly, those piranhas are worth more than gold. The whole world wants them. And they're worth even more now that they've almost disappeared. Now that they're so rare. Hey! Don't touch my pole! Your pal Marsu is pretty hot man. Mr. McFly, there are no more piranhas. They're his favorite breakfast food, his favorite lunch food, and his favorite dinner food. And you promised you'd help preserve Columbia the last time we saw each other. Yes, I guess if someone took away my favorite meal, I'd be pretty mad too. Yeah, I don't believe it. I wasn't even trying to catch him. I was just fishing peacefully. Who is that guy? A poacher. Back alive. Bring him back alive. The greatest hunter on six hemispheres. Oh my, oh my. Huh? Huh? I think he gets it now, Marsu. I think I'll head home now. I'm getting too old for fishing. I'm guessing this area has probably been overlooked by the fishermen. If there are any piranhas left, they'll be here. What on earth? Oh no! Jellyfish! Hold on a sec, Marsu. Aunt Diane will figure this out. It's the work of a very rare creature. No doubt about it, a very rare Palombian species. The Stingamanum itchiness jellyfish. It's called that because its venom causes its victims to itch for hours and hours. I see. Oh, mm. When they arrive in a new area, these jellyfish reproduce at an alarming rate, devouring aquatic plants and every kind of fish. Their only predator is the only creature capable of limiting their proliferation. The piranha! That would explain their rapid multiplication because there are practically no more piranhas in the river. Aunt Diane, we need a jellyfish repellent cream. <laughs> with oxygen from the buoy buoy flower, I'll be able to swim underwater with you, Marsu. P.U. I hope Aunt Diane's lotion works because it sure <laughs> is awfully stinky. <laughs> What we're hauling up, it looks like we cut ourselves the jackpot. I can see them already. Several big fat piranhas weighing about. Oh, what in the world? Hoopa? Oh, yeah. Houston, we just fished up a yellow piranha with black polka dots.
Oops. Oh, my God. So, once again, it's because of Felicia DeVort that there are no more piranhas in the river. We can explain everything. It was a harmless little bit of insider trading and... <laughs> We just wanted to meet some fake bills for my barbecue. <laughs> oh, Marsu, look! I can't believe it! Oh no! Marsu! Listen, Marsu. I know you're just an animal. You don't get the concept of the food chain, and you're my best friend and all, but frankly, Marzu, I gotta tell you right now, you're a lame brain. <laughs> and Marzu just swallowed it again. Just like in your tulip story when the sailor ate the tulip bulb that was worth 10 million florins, you know, because he thought it was an onion. Hector, there isn't a single piranha left in the leaky soupy, and you're going on about flowers? Uh, Aunt Diane, come to think of it, I'm not sure I totally get what happened at the end of your tulip story. Well, if you really want to know, the tulip simply lost its value overnight. And everyone lost colossal sums of money. That's all? Really? Wow. Babu! <laughs> That's what happened. Tulip bulbs that were worth three million castles a few hours earlier were suddenly no longer worth anything more than, well, tulip bulbs. Baba! It couldn't be that easy, could it? All you would have to do is declare the piranhas are worthless, and then they'd actually be worthless? That's all it would take for this madness to end? Exactly. All you'd have to do is spread a counter-rumor. Even better, have it confirmed by an expert in the field. Well, for once, I'm waking you up instead of the other way around, so stop complaining. And if you want to stuff yourself with piranhas, I'd advise you to follow me. Wait, Marsu, they're back on board. Poor babies, you got a bit soaked there. <laughs> Big tooth fishies. More piranhas? Those have got to be the very last ones. Prepare to board. sense to you, but those are probably the last two remaining piranhas in all of Colombia. Marsu! If you don't eat them, we'll be able to repopulate the river. According to Aunt Diane, it'll only take 22 months, 17 days, 8 minutes, and 19 seconds. And that's an approximate figure. On the other hand, if you eat them, it may mean the end of the entire piranha species. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. 
Thank you, Marsu. I take back what I said before. You're not a lame brain at all. You're the best. Marsu, I nearly forgot. It's time to put an end to piranha mania. Listen up, everybody. This is Felicia Devart speaking. As an expert in, uh, well, expert things, I'm telling you now, the market in piranhas is overinflated. It's not worth anything anymore, not even a dime. My sources have further indicated to me that over the next few months, the next big thing will be, uh, the Italian shoes! In a few days, even the most measly shoe will be worth more than a private jet! Little Chicken and the Yellow Animal Totem have succeeded once more. I advise you to get a hold of some as fast as you can, and by any means necessary! But what about gold? Isn't gold worth anything? I always thought... Gold was a sound investment. Forget piranhas, according to world famous Felicia DeVos. Italian shoes are the next sure thing. More secure than gold, diamonds, and platinum put together. This stock market tip was brought to you by Riddle Doni, manufacturer of the finest Italian no. shoes. But I never said oh. anything of the sort. But it's an excellent idea. After all, I could have said it. Release all the piranhas and toothy sardines from our aquariums. They're worthless now. And bring me every single Italian shoemaker you can oh. find. Off you go, little piranha family. Go on, D.D. Toto and Titu. Mm. Go, go forth and live happy piranha lives in the leaky mm. soupy. So long, T.T. Toto, Titu. Oh. Hey! It's just nature at work, Hector. Marsupilamis eat piranhas. <laughs> this is a first. Did Marsu just give up his favorite food? Maybe he just needs some rest. Unless he couldn't have done it on purpose, could he? Incredible! The food chain got a break thanks to the selfless actions of our favorite glutton, the Marsupilami. Nature never fails to astound me. Myself a bomber, a rocket launcher, a dozen tanks, a complete collection of aircraft, maybe even an aircraft carrier. Uba uba hop.